Hey there, I'm Vidur, a security engineer at Astra, and today I'll be guiding you through a step-by-step -step process of how you can correctly set up your PrestoShop file permissions. But before we begin, let's understand what file permissions are and why they're important. You know, whenever we talk about security of our PrestoShop accounts, we tend to only talk about security plugins or extensions, but we often forget to talk about the file permissions on our PrestaShop files. So file permissions are basically a way of telling the server who can perform what operations on our PrestaShop files and folders. This is what file permissions look like. File permissions are 10 characters long, where the first character can be a dash for a regular file or a D for a directory, the next set of three characters represents the file permissions for the user owner. The next set of three characters represents the file permissions for the group owner. And the last three set of characters represents permissions for all other users. You can also represent the file permissions in numeric form, where R or read is equal to 4, W or write is equal to 2, and X or execute is equal to 1. And you know what? Our PrestaShop account could be more vulnerable if these file permissions are not correctly set. It can allow attacks to exploit the loopholes and completely take over the PrestaShop store. Also, it can wrongly allow users to read, write, and execute sensitive files, thereby changing the settings or configuration of your store. They can even inject malicious code or plant backdoors. Apart from security, incorrect file permissions can also lead to errors in accessing files. There are services and servers that need certain file permissions to work efficiently. And without them, it can cause your site to break and throw error messages. I'll be using the FileZilla FTP client for this demo. You can use FileZilla, Cyberduck, or any other FTP client of your choice. The process is the same for all. Let's start by setting up the FTP client using our SSH credentials. You'll need these to set up the connection to your server. The recommended permission for all the folders is 755 and for all the files, 644. Now, to set these permissions on the directories, simply go to the folder where PrestaShop is installed and right-click to select the File Attributes option. Type in 755 as the numeric value, check the Recurse into Subdirectories option and select Apply to Directories Only. Then, click on OK. This might take a while to complete, so you can just sit back and relax. Once it's complete, you can follow similar steps to set the file permissions for all the files. This time, set the numeric value to 644 and select Apply to Files Only and Recurse into Subdirectories. Then click on OK. Additionally, you can also use SSH to change the file permissions. Navigate to your public HTML directory or the directory where PrestaShop is installed and simply run this command and it'll do the job for you in much less time. Now, you're all set. But before you go, I want to tell you that apart from these steps, you also need to focus on protecting your account from other attacks as well. And you know what? We do security all day. And if you are our customer, then we could do that for you. Like every security engineer, I recommend that any website owner has a firewall that protects their website from attacks in real time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and all the relevant links are in the description below. Till then, stay safe, and happy security to you. I'll see you in the next video.